Hi everyone, thanks so much for being here. My name is Kat and I make houseplant videos here on Good and Planty. If you just so happen to absolutely love this video, please consider liking it, commenting, subscribing, or following me on Instagram. All of these things help me grow my channel like a plant. I feel like every time I do the intro, I like challenge myself to say it faster. Let me know how I'm doing. So today we are going to do a little bit of like a chatty repot, I guess. I was originally gonna do a philodendron Mikan's care video, but I wasn't really feeling it, so here we are. <laughs> and I did ask you all on Instagram what kind of content you wanted to see from me in the near future, and vlog, chatty, Q&A type videos were highly requested. I'm just following what you guys wanted. The philodendron Mikan's video will come out eventually though, I promise. So I do have like a handful of plants with me today that I'm gonna repot and I don't know, we can just chat. I can talk about my life a little bit and some plant things, I guess. So let's just get started. I usually don't really like advocate for repotting during the winter time, but you know what? Sometimes plants can't wait and it's kind of okay to repot them, especially if they're declining from being root bound. The plants I have here today, I either am being impatient and a bad plant parent and repotting them too early or they can't wait. So there's a little bit of a mix. The first plant that I wanna repot, you know what, I have this begonia. So I have two begonia in this pot. I have this begonia escargot. This is like the mama leaf that came in the mail, but it's giving me plenty of new cute babies here and then i have this rex begonia i'm not sure what the exact id is but she is also giving me some babies i originally repotted them both in this nursery pot because when i got them in the mail they were one leaf cuttings and just were not really i was worried about putting them in their own pots right off the bat because I thought that they might rot. But now that they're growing kind of rapidly, I feel like I should split them up before it's too late. So I have another nursery pot and I'm just going to split them up and pot them accordingly. Can you even see what I'm doing? Should I back up? Oh, that's better. Hopefully, hopefully you can still hear me, but at least you can see me. I'm like smushed against the bed now. <laughs> I have my mix here it's just a uh, black gold potting soil with some extra perlite and orchid mix i need a drink before my hands get all dirty it's actually funny that i mentioned the soil because one thing that i did want to talk about briefly this is going to be a very casual video if you haven't picked up on that but one thing that i have been thinking about is i really want to start being more mindful of the products I'm using and you know what I'm giving my plants. I did just post the products I love video, so you might have watched that. If not, go ahead and check it out. And those are those are absolutely fantastic products. I use all of them. But I feel like I always do this. I like stop repotting and just start talking. But I feel like I this year want to take the time to try and find maybe some new products that kind of focus more on sustainability and the health of my plants. For example, I talked about how I am currently using a specific perlite, but I am considering switching to pumice because it's better for the plants and I believe it's actually better for the environment as well. I'm trying to take baby steps into sustainability with my houseplant hobby and even in my personal life. So it's not going to be an overnight transformation at all and I'm not branding myself as like the most sustainable person, but I feel like there's no issue in trying to start and just think about those things. So if you if you have any strong opinions or resources on ways to make your houseplant hobby more sustainable i would love to hear them some things that i implement already is i'm trying to switch to pumice and i don't throw away or even recycle nursery pots i just keep them but i'm also curious about switching from peat moss based soils to coco core based soils because apparently that's more sustainable but i don't know if that's even really true i just know that peat moss is very unsustainable but i don't know how coco core like competes with that 
So these are just like things that I've been thinking about recently and I'm just curious because you all always have wonderful resources and are incredibly intelligent. So I'm just wondering if you all have any suggestions. If not, you know, I'll do, I'm also going to do some research and I'll see what I come up with. You guys can let me know if that's of interest to you for me to talk about in the future. But I just wanted to let you all know that if I'm making some changes in the products I'm using, that's why. It's not that I don't like the products that I use right now, but I feel like, I guess not ethically, maybe ethically, but there's like some improvements to be made in, in how I handle my houseplant collection. And those changes definitely cost more money and are not as accessible as the products that I'm using now. So that's why I'm not like preaching everybody to change immediately. But I'm just curious about it. I'm going to check it out, see what I can do, because I think that's important. Okay, <laughs> enough about that. I'm having a really hard time separating them. I feel like it was already too late. I'm breaking some roots. Ooh! You can see the escargot cutting here. Here's the root ball. I'm dropping soil everywhere. And it's a little bit bigger than the unidentified Rex begonia. So I think I'm gonna keep the Rex begonia in the pot that it's been in and I'll put the escargot in this one. I feel like this one's also slightly bigger, but that could just be me. Okay, here's the finished up escargot begonia. Here is her crusty leaf and her adorable new babies. So cute, and I have it in this new nursery pot. I have to find a cover pot for her. Next we have, what do I wanna do next? Let's do this next. So I have my Black Pagoda lipstick plant. Everyone, if you've seen me before, you know I love this plant because I'm always talking about her. She's gorgeous. And I have these two adorable buds. Hopefully you can see them. They're like right here. Let's get closer. So they're still have yet to bloom. I'm hoping that repotting her doesn't stress her out too much, but I'm just kind of a little bit uncomfortable with her being in a nursery pot just because it's my first lipstick plant and I don't want to overwater her. But I'm just going to repot her. She doesn't have that many. I don't think she has that developed of a root system. So I'd rather just like stick her in terracotta real quick. <gasps> oh, I have more flowers. Oh my gosh. Oh my God. Look, you can see the new shoots that I didn't even know were coming. Look at them. Those are gonna hit the surface soon. So these plants have pretty fine root systems, so I'm gonna be very careful here. I also wanted to get my own soil mixture in here because I never know what the nurseries are using. lipstick plant is done. I didn't really talk for this one because there is new growth and buds and I really didn't want to screw anything up. I was actually really surprised at how well this plant was doing like underneath the surface so I'm hoping me repotting her right now doesn't ruin it. You'll see her in like the next struggle video, I guess, if it did. But she looks so much cuter in the terracotta. I love this. She looks amazing. Look at, look at her. And then here's some of the new growth. I kind of let it, hold on, let me try to get it. Can you see those two little growth points? Like one here and like one over here. I kind of let them poke out of the top a little bit so that they could get a little bit of a head start. Another one down. Next we have my silver sword, which, oh my god. Basically, you'll see here that I had a bit of a little boo-boo. I was really bad at consistently watering this plant because the pot is so small that it dries out way faster than I can keep track of. I am going to just bump it up. Where's the pot? 
I'm gonna bump it up by like an inch or so. I could, I'm just like not keeping up with the moisture and I didn't fill up the humidifier. So this leaf got stuck and it ripped off a look. Basically, it's gonna fall off. And then even the next leaf is kind of stuck. So I just wanna fix her up. I wanna give her a new home and I think she's gonna enjoy it a lot more because I paid $45 for a <laughs> two leaf cutting and I got this far, I'm not gonna screw it up now. Anyway, so another thing that we can talk about is lately I've been very surprisingly into like beauty. I, I think it's kind of TikTok. <laughs> and YouTube and COVID and starting a YouTube channel, like all of that stuff kind of just melded together and suddenly I'm like super into skincare and hair care and just kind of like taking better care of myself, I guess. I've been like trying out skincare and it's been so much fun. I have been watching a lot of Hiram, obviously, and I'm just like also wondering, I guess this is just a video of me asking for advice, but for any of my skincare friends out there, if you have any suggestions about like combination oily skin, please let me know. I feel like, oh, this is done now. And now I'm gonna just put my new polka dot plant that I got in this it might dry out way too fast i'm probably gonna have the same problem that i just talked about but whatever i don't have a bigger pot but anyway i feel like this year i'm gonna kind of like take better care of myself i feel like a lot of people had the same realization but it's just kind of exciting kind of like always just been like yeah whatever i'll get around to it but this is the year we're committing people we're gonna take care of ourselves okay the best that we can <laughs> Look at how baby these roots are. They're so thin. Okay, I'm gonna have the biggest mess to clean up. Hold on. There's like tin foil in here. Sometimes I buy like plants from the supermarket, which is what this plant was, and the weirdest things are in the pots. Does that ever happen to you or is that just me? Ta-da! Very cute. Okay, now I'm gonna put these plants away because I have one more plant, but it's recovering from mealybugs. So I kind of want to put her somewhere else. I want to get all of these plants out of this space so that I can bring in the mealybug plant without like panicking too much. I'm covered in dirt and I'm sweating so now I'm like muddy. <laughs> Okay, so the last plant that we have is my coffee plant, which is in this four inch nursery pot and she's like totally over it. Let me uh, smush myself back again so you can see stuff. And yeah, I'm giving her this six inch pot, I think it is. I think it'll be fine. And this one, this these like white, terracotta pots they retain moisture a lot better than like the regular ones so i think it'll be fine for the coffee plant that likes to stay a little bit more moist this plant has been wanting to be repotted so i'm a little bit curious to see Woo! okay i had to pop in real quick just to point out look at the perlite in that frame that i just paused that is exactly why, besides the sustainability, just in terms of plant care, you can see the perlite rising to the top and not adding any aeration within the soil, like actually in the pot. So that's why I want to switch to pumice. And I'm probably going to do a whole video on it, but it was just such a perfect moment to highlight that, that I had to just hop in. So thank you and enjoy the rest of the video. Woo! Oh my gosh, she's so pretty. I love good root systems. It is pretty root bound, but not to the point that I would loosen it. And also the roots are a little bit thinner than like philodendron roots. So I'm just gonna plop her in like so. I'll move her over a little. And I'm just gonna backfill. Oh, she's gonna look so cute in this pot. I love it so much already. Oh my gosh. She looks so good in this pot. Oh my god. 
Why did I put this off? Oh my god, she looks so good. I have been, okay, last thing that I want to talk about, I have been itching to fertilize recently. I miss the smell of fertilizer. I miss my plants growing with fertilizer. I don't know, I'm having some kind of like fertilizing withdrawal. I have been dreaming about pulling out the fertilizer and it's so hard to resist. I will definitely be doing I will definitely be doing a fertilizing video as soon as I can. Anyway, this plant is done. She looks so good in this pot. I'm going crazy for this. I don't know why, but I really am. Okay, so now I'm just gonna go ahead and put all the plants back in their permanent homes, give them a good thorough water if they need it, and that's pretty much it for repotting. Do you hear that? I wonder if you're gonna hear that when I'm editing this. Okay, I'm gonna try to talk really fast. Thank you all so much for watching. I really appreciate it. I know it's a little bit more chatty, but I had some fun. Please subscribe if you don't already and wanna see more plants content like this video, all of that good stuff, and I will see you in my next video. Bye!